It's unbearable to see that around the world black skin is seen as a sin, a crime committed by the stockpiling of melanin like a nuclear arsenal even in the land of the Bedouins. Until Islam came and made it a symbol of bravery and liberation as they sucked oxygen in and their lungs shattered the chains as they yelled and proclaimed, God is one. Called from Arabia by Bilal the Mu'addin, answered in Karbala by John the Abyssinian. Much different than an ideology where black men's strangled necks still struggle to breathe more than a century after they were supposedly freed. And for as long as the world can remember, they were enslaved, chains around their necks would weigh until Muhammad came to say that all necks prostrate before God the same. It's not about wealth or social class, it's not about white or black, but the one who best walks upon the straight path. The one who believes and does righteous deeds. Like when Hussein told John, go, you're freed. John responded, you, I cannot leave. You are the embodiment of our creed. You, the representative on earth of Tawheed, the Imam of the Almighty Lord, with no need if I abandon you here, I abandon too this deen. And it is said, for all of the companions martyred, Aba Abdullah was saddened and grieved, but none quite like the one whose face Hussein placed upon his cheek as John turned from slave to martyr as his body went weak. And as some say, the greatest fear of the oppressors is a black person with the message of the Imam of the slain John was his name. An Abyssinian slave freed, but chose to forever remain with Hussein. <laughs>